hey you guys happy i don't know what day it is i never know what day it is but um today is surgery day yes i am getting um a myomectomy today which is fibroid removal surgery and they are also going to do some other th things i think um they're checking me for endometriosis um and they are going to check me for any residual tissue in my uterus from my previous miscarriages um so yeah it's going to be interesting so i don't have any jewelry on no makeup i couldn't put any lotion so i am like super puffy um i haven't eaten since yesterday i um you're not allowed to eat past midnight so yeah and um i guess a quick background because i think this is the first video of um of this whole ordeal of like fertility and womanhood stuff that you guys are gonna see so i have a history of recurrent pregnancy loss which i'm gonna have another sit down video one day in the future to fully talk to you guys about but i've shared it before that i've had a miscarriage but i've had more than one miscarriage and because i am only 26 and my husband and i are like pretty young and we are overall healthy people this has been very concerning so we've been doing like a lot of fertility um treatments a lot of fertility tests going to doctors just trying to figure out what's wrong with us but one of the outliers is this fibroid that i have so every time i will go to ultrasounds they always say oh did you know you had a fibroid and blah blah and so i had to do research lots of research and i figured out that i could get it removed so i had to push pretty much for the surgery to happen i had to push like i had to push to talk to the doctor we went through all my history again all the options and then both the doctor and i agreed this is the right procedure let's get this fiber taken out because it's fibers can cause hormonal imbalance and all these different things which i have we're about to go there now i'm wearing this like sweat set from walmart that i picked up yesterday um, it's just like super cheap, but it's pretty cozy because I need to have something that's oversized for the incisions that they're going to make. They're going to make three incisions um, and also go through my belly button. <laughs> so I have to have like large baggy clothes. So I have this like sweat, sweat set. My husband can't come with me. So he's literally going to drop me off at the door of the hospital and it's going to pick me up. This is something that I've been waiting on for over six months, this surgery and just all of this. It's been over six months of just even waiting for this day and it's been three years of us figuring out, trying to figure out what's wrong. So. so guys, something that I watched other people do or when I saw other people's video I did it too I have a bag in the back that has Gatorade ginger ale it has ice pack those like ready to go instant ice packs um, and make sure like you are in a car that can recline because you're gonna have to recline afterwards so I have my little emergency bag back there and then have something in case you're going to vomit make sure you have something for that as well so. I have to be there at 8 45 my procedure isn't until 10 15 and I'm hungry oh. and I'm super hungry so like I have to wait a long time before I can eat and this is the same thing that happened last time um, at my last procedure thing that I had done where I literally waited for so long See you guys afterwards. I'm gonna look like a bum. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look so crusty. But don't be fine. I know, but I'm gonna look like a bum.
we're back home now <clears throat> I think it's like four o'clock and I feel like crap <sighs> I'm in so much pain. It's a lot of pain. But I've been in and out of sleep due to the anesthesia. And so I'm going to sleep now. Hey, you guys. So today is day two post op and i feel horrible i'm literally holding myself together right now um i just took a shower got out of bed took a shower um and decided to look a little decent but i'm about to get back in bed because the pain is horrible so i have a whole lot of gas still left in me let me get comfortable so i can talk to you guys before my battery dies I don't wish this kind of pain even on my worst enemy who I don't have but this pain is so unbearable guys but I'm gonna try not to cry because I'm in so much pain right now but wanted to give you guys an update yesterday I was horrible I was in and out of sleep anesthesia really had me really bad and then also, I couldn't pee, I couldn't urinate, and in order for you to be discharged, you technically need to use the bathroom, like urinate, um, and so I wasn't able to pee, like I had the urge to pee really bad, but I couldn't, so they still discharged me around like 3 o'clock after like 2 hours trying to get me to use the bathroom, I couldn't, I think it was around 3, 3.30 they discharged me, and they told me if I couldn't pee, within the next six hours i had to go back to, i had to go to the emergency room so like four hours in i was in agonizing pain yesterday and as we were about to go to the emergency room like my husband and i were praying and right before going like we we're getting ready like i couldn't handle it anymore i called my sister-in-law because she works in the health in healthcare, and she was like yeah go to the emergency room that means your bladder is full and it could burst at any time and so we were starting to get ready to go and my husband was like look just try to go sit on the toilet one more time and as i sat down i peed y'all it came out and that really helped alleviate a lot of the gas because they put gas in you they threw a catheter to do the procedure and so that helped a lot but i still have a lot of gas left so anytime I my bladder gets full and I have to pee, I need to go right away. So I'm like going to the bathroom constantly just because it's uncomfortable. And like my bladder's pushing up against my uterus, which is still swollen. Um, so I wanted to just check in with you guys. Uh, I'm taking pain medicine, but I'm not trying to take it often because it's I'm taking hydrocodone or hydrocodone, whatever it is. So I was on oxycotton or oxycodone, whatever, yesterday. And then today I'm like for now being home, I'm taking hydrocodone. So I've just had my heating pad on me pretty much all throughout the night. My one of my incision sites were was bleeding yesterday, but then it subsided. And then also um like I was having a lot of vaginal bleeding just because they put a catheter up you when they do this they put a catheter up you and of course with the laparoscopy and the procedure they're in your uterus and all that so a lot of bleeding but thank god the bleeding has subsided so and like now I have gas on my rib cage which apparently it's common because the nurse talked to me this morning she said that's okay but you're supposed to try to walk so I try to get up and go to the bathroom that's me walking um, and like move your shoulders around to try to get the gas out but it's gonna take like a few days up to a week for all the gas to come out so I really can't breathe too well because on this side my rib cage is full of gas literally and then of course like the regular gas here and I didn't get stitches they actually glued my incisions so I don't have any stitches at all 
um, but one of my incisions like the bottom one it's really ugly <laughs> looking so like and like I have tension here which apparently it's normal from the anesthesia and the gas I'm trying to pull through but it's hard so just literally I'm going to take some medicine because the pain I think like on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm at a 9 this morning I was at a 10 now I'm at a 9 and I think because the anesthesia all of that's wearing off I'm really starting to feel the pain like yesterday was hard and today is like painful yesterday I was just loopy so I'm just here I've been listening to worship music um I just started listening to some worship music I'm gonna read my book um I've been reading this book pretty much then like half of the year and I need to finish it so I'm gonna try to finish this book today I only have a few more chapters to go and then when my husband comes home I'll have him get the rest of my book stash so that way I can read because I don't want to spend too much time on like social media and stuff I'm good I'm doing like a social media detox and a lot of stuff that I'm posting they're sponsored content sorry guys I'm short I'm out of breath a lot of the stuff I'm posting is sponsored content so what you guys are seeing has already been pre-filmed or pre-planned and I'm getting paid to post it on Instagram so that's why but other than that um and then my 12 days of reels my 12 days of winter reels as well like today's day 10 actually but I'm a day behind which is okay but that's all I'm posting because those are already pre-recorded but I'm not posting anything new and yeah I'm just taking like a break from everything I don't go back to work until the new year I'll check in with you guys later I don't know if this is gonna be the end of this vlog or if we're gonna do one more day and stuff but if you guys have any questions on the procedure um, because you're also getting it or just anything you want to know before you get this procedure um, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I will make a separate full sit down video detailing everything my battery is dead so I will see you guys later